Hi guys, Philip here from horseracetrading.com and in this video I'm talking about what is um, scalping in the horse racing markets on Betfair. I want to give you some examples and I want to talk to you about the dangers uh, of scalping and uh, how to tr uh, scalp successfully. And I want to talk to you about some common sense factors or, and mistakes when it comes to scalping and things to look out for uh, when you're trying to trade on the horse racing markets on Betfair. Uh, so you can see here I'm at a, a maiden stakes, uh, Beverly. Okay. And I want to talk about scalping. Okay. So first of all, what is scalping? Scalping is effectively where you are entering the market and getting out of the market uh, between two, um, uh, price points, uh, within a very short range of each other. So for example, here, if I were to p place, um, uh, a, um, a, a lay bet here and a back bet here, I'm effectively trying to get matched and laid, uh, on uh, either side of this ladder. So if I get, uh, if the lay bet gets matched first, then I want to uh, sort of scalp it off at 2.68 uh, before I move on. Okay. So you kind of, you get in and out of the market quickly uh, to get your uh, bets matched and so on. Um, and you, be, you make small profits in between these two price points. Okay. So uh, let's talk about this here real quick. So if I were to, for example, come in here and I were to place a lay bet here, when that gets matched, I then need to place an, an opposing uh, trade at 2.7 on the back side to basically cash out, or to, 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 to green up, so I can, I can um, get that uh, price matched. Um, now, obviously, for uh, you know, obvious reasons, um, if, that, uh, the, uh, if the price goes against me like it is now, I then enter a minus position. Okay, so you can see here, I, I need to, you, you, do, you do need to act quickly and you need to be uh, basically in, in a great emotional control of your trade. Uh, because you can see here now, I can move this down here like that and get this scratched off for, um, for a, a scratch. And that in itself is a win in many cases. Uh, so let's talk about some of, the, some of the dangers here and some of the uh, mistakes that can happen if you try and scalp and if you don't do it properly. Okay, just like I've done here right now, you can see the price going against me. And now you think, oh my God, what am I going to do? Should I drag this down? Should I double down my effort? Should I try and scalp even more on the lay side to try and sort of, sort of regain that position? What do you do? Well, Here's the thing, guys. When it comes to scalping, okay, never scalp a maiden stakes. Okay, never, never scalped a maiden, a maiden race because you can see here, okay, you can see, can you see that the, the traded range here is huge, okay? It goes right down to like sort of 2.18 all the way up to uh, 2.88. That's a huge traded range, meaning, um, that the chances are this market here is going to be very volatile. And when it comes to maiden races, uh, they usually are quite erratic, okay? Because, um, the, the horses are unproven, okay? And there's no, uh, the, the, the markets themselves tend to be a lot more, um, fluid in terms of the movement, okay? So you don't want to scalp, um, maiden races for this exact reason right here. You can see the price is going against me. And then suddenly you're sitting there thinking, ugh, like, what do I do now? Do I, do I drag it down here and scratch it for a loss? Or do I leave it here? Like, what, what do I do? Okay. Uh, Whereas what you, ideally, what you want is you want a more, um, a, a stronger handicap. Okay. Um, so for example, here at air at two o'clock, uh, at, uh, 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 125. Okay. Here you can see that the, the traded range here is much, much smaller. Okay. It's still a little bit, you know, a bit wider than you want, but you can see it's still, it's still smaller, which means in a, in a handicap race, these horses here are most likely going to be much stronger and uh, hopefully less erratic. Okay. Basically, you want to have a very, very small traded range because uh, that gives you a little bit of coverage um, and a, a little bit of more comfort and uh, before, before you enter market. Okay, uh, but in the day when it comes to um, when it comes to trading a bet fair, you never really know where the hell what the hell is going to happen because you know you could be trading quite happily and then suddenly there could be a, a whale comes in and drops like fifteen k, <laughs> fifteen thousand pounds in the market. And then that's going to have an effect on it regardless. Okay, so as always, guys, you know, be, use caution, be careful because you need to use your common sense and trade um, by controlling your emotions, which brings, which brings me to my next point, okay? When it comes to trading emotionally, what happens is uh, there's the two kind of points to this where people trade emotionally and they're also unwilling to accept when they are wrong. So here you can see this position here, right? It's gone against me here from 2.68, now it's 2.58. And at this point here, what a lot of people tend to do is they get emotionally attached to their trade because they, they kind of fall in love with the idea of, market conditions where they think, well, I, I enter the market because of this and that. It has to go back up again. I know the market will retract. I have to wait. Or even worse, what they tend to do is sometimes even come here and go and try and double down like this here. Boom. They want to add another 25 pounds or whatever to try and recoup that loss. And they start doubling down their losses because at the end of the day, 
especially if you made a mistake like here i should not have entered this market because it's a maiden race okay so i should not i should not have tried to scout this here a because it was way too early i started like what uh, this video is five, five minutes long now so i started like 14 minutes before the race uh, so, and that, that's number one i should not have entered uh, in that sort of way and, and also i was right in the middle of the price range okay so you can see here that, that there are so many mistakes that happen here and if you're if you're unwilling to accept when you're wrong, you're in trouble. So you can see now the price here goes up, it goes down, goes up, goes down. It doesn't care. Okay. So uh, what newbies tend to do is to do what I just did there. Why I go? I go. Okay, I'm going to put an, another twenty five pounds there because the price is going to go back up again. I know it. I, I know it is. Okay. And you start making emotional, irrational decisions. Okay. Remember, guys, the market doesn't care about your feelings. The market moves where it moves because it's moving based on where the money is. If the money's being matched, it moves in one direction. If the money being laid and so on, it moves in the other okay that's simple and so you have to understand that when it comes to you scalping all right scalping is a very effective very simple way of doing it but there has to be certain market conditions and again that comes with practice that comes with you making mistakes and learning from it again what what i recommend, recommend you do is that record your screen just like I'm doing right now. And then what you can do is when you make a mistake, you can, you, by watching it back, you can see exactly when and why you made a mistake. Because let's, let's say for argument's sake, I was here, I, I was scalping away, and the price goes against me. I could have missed something very important. For example, the, there may have been like a $5,000 uh, uh, matched bet come in on the third or fourth favorite, but I missed it because my, my attention was on these numbers here, not over here. By, and by, by watching, the, um, watching your own trading videos back to yourself, you can spot them because then you have complete um, uh, perspective because you can see everything and you're not emotionally attached to your trade and so on. And most importantly, that allows you to learn from your mistakes. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just trading here as, as an example. Okay, so uh, well, I'm, I'm just going to quickly put some trade here just to kind of get out of this trade. Um, and um, so uh, I'm, hoping, I'm hoping you can see what, what I'm talking about here, guys. Okay, it's about perspective. It's about learning from your mistakes. When it comes to scalping, scalping is effectively you enter, let's, let's say for argument's here, for argument's sake here, you enter at, uh, on a back side or lay side, whichever one you want to start with. And then you scalp out, it's just one tick. You're in, poof, out, poof, you get matched. You, get, you, you place a back bet, a lay bet, or a lay bet and a back bet, and you match the bet and you get out quickly. Um, and the 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 longer you're in the market in an open position, the more vulnerable you become. Okay, because uh, the longer a position is open, the more chances are that your original reasoning for entering the entering the market in the first place will go against you. Okay, um, because obviously the money changes all the time and the flow of the market changes changes within seconds. So it's very important for you as a scalper that you, you realize that you're entering the market with a, with a notion and idea of getting in and out as fast as possible and then going back in the market again when the market changes. Okay, and again, this can be combined with more sort of, um, sort of scalping with a swing trade mentality and vice versa. But it's all done experience, how you do it and when you move forward. Okay, so as, as you can see here now, this price here goes back, has gone back up again. And you think, oh my God, I knew it. I, I knew it was going to go there, right? And you start, you start getting emotionally attached. Okay. Simply follow your gut and tr trade, learn by, uh, learn uh, by your mistakes, record your screen. Okay. So what I can do here now, for example, here, I could hop in here. Okay. Right there for a quick 25, uh, 25 pounds and scalp out one, one or two ticks here. I'll probably do one tick actually right here to try and sort of scalp this position here because see, as you can see, it's drifting off. And, um, uh, right, boom, hey, Bristol, quick scalp. Okay. I was in and out in what, what was that like four seconds? That's a quick scalp. Okay. That's what that is. All right. And you, you do it based on what's happening. You can see here that the third favorite's coming down and that's putting pressure on the favorite to drift out and so on and so forth. But again, guys, this here, a maiden race. Never scalp a maiden race because you can see the market is too erratic. Okay. You can see here traded range on the third favorite all the way from 5.9 down to 4.1. The favorite here traded range all the way from 4.8, uh, 2.88 down to What's that? 2.18. Okay. It's too erratic. The market moves too fast. This here is for swing trading. Okay. And any kind of sudden movement trading and spike trading, not for scalping because it's too erratic. Only scalp on handicaps when the market is solid, when the trade when the trade ranges are very, very narrow and small, and you can feel more, more comfort in that and knowing that you're entering the market in a safe and logical way with the market it's solid. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Uh, any questions? Let me know. Please subscribe, and I'll see you all in my next video. Cheers, guys.